maybe back 20 years ago, when you drafted Dwayne Wade, when Wade was drafted by this organization, did you think he would have this impact that he had both on the team and the city of Miami? No. You never know that uh, you've drafted uh, a quintessential superstar until they become that. You know, we knew he drafted an incredible athlete. Uh, he had all the attributes uh, to become, you know, a great player, we thought, not only on the offensive end, but the defensive end. He had great size, great hands, um, and it was up to him. But we felt good about the pick, and his workout was horrible. <laughs> you know, the games that I scouted and watched him, he was tremendous. Um, and uh, in his first season with us, uh, we knew we had a player that was unique, but it was going to probably take a year or two uh, to reach that level. And you don't know a player is going to reach that level till they reach it. You don't know that greatness is coming until greatness is coming and comes and arrives. And in 2006, uh, it arrived <laughs> in a big way. Talk about that final. We're talking about that MVP yeah. performance. That was his third year. You were on the sideline, obviously, to coach that team. Yeah. What did you see during that finals run, down 0-2, that he, that he catapulted himself into legendary status? Yeah. Well, well, I saw it you know, from, from the day that I came back and started to coach the team again in December. We already knew Dwayne you know, was a great player. He had a great partner in, uh, in Shaquille at that time. And also uh, one of our pillars, Udonis, is a power forward. And we needed to put some more players, I think, around, veteran players around him and Shaquille and Udonis, and we did that. Uh, but when we got to the finals uh, against Dallas and we were down 0-2, uh, I remember in game three, we're down 13 in the middle of the fourth quarter. And, you know, I'm basically saying, you know, uh, that this season could be over with, you know, if you're down 0-3. And he looked at it, I wrote it on my pad and I showed it to the players. I said, this is our season, this is our moment. And he stood up and he said, well, I'm not going out like this. <laughs> and he out scored 15 straight points in that fourth quarter brought us back to a uh, you know, real close win. And, and then from that point on, he just dominated the rest of the finals and, uh, and reached that level of greatness. And, and you only reach it in those moments that count uh, and mean everything, uh, a world championship. And so the MVP he was, and, uh, and from there he just took off and was Dwayne Wade for the rest of his career. After that, he obviously had the injury the following season. The right. team kind of went down a little bit, but then came 2010. Yeah. How big was it to get him, both get him to resign and then get, have him be able to come in and get Bosch and, and LeBron and make that big three? Right. Well, when he got hurt right after the All Star break the next season, <clears throat> and you know he separated his shoulder, he really should have had surgery, mm -hmm. season ending surgery then. And he elected not to have it. He tried to rehab it, tried to strengthen it. I mean, if you took your finger, you could have pushed his shoulder out. And we're defending the championship, and so he wanted to play. Once we got swept by Chicago in the first round, he immediately had surgery and had a great summer, you know, from that standpoint. And, uh, you know, after, uh, after he had signed his contract in 2006, uh, which was his first max deal, and Chris Bosh signed his because they all came out of the same class, and LeBron signed his, and everybody could see that they're all going to have options in 2010 is when we, uh, myself and Andy, and of course ownership realized that we would have an opportunity to do something unique or at least vie for it, and, uh, and so we started planning on what our roster was going to look like and what the cap space was going to look like in 2010. And with one goal is that we wanted to make sure we could show the players, uh, Chris and LeBron, along with Dwayne, that we had the maximum amount of money for max deals for all three, D, all three players. And we had that. And so when they saw that, nobody else could offer that. And when they saw that, uh, 
they all became very interested in playing together. And then when they all decided to come here to play with Dwayne, then they started giving money back. So we can get Udonis and we can get Mike Miller and that's how we built that, that championship team through, you know, really thinking about, you know, having that, that dinner with those three guys in 2010 and then filling out the roster. So uh, Dwayne had a lot to do with that. Dwayne was working behind the scenes, which he's legally able to do, player to player, and trying to encourage them. They all played together on the Olympic team, so they knew one another. And uh, it was an incredible time, you know, for this city uh, and this team and this organization uh, to be able to sign those three players together and go to the finals four times and win two world championships. And so. Uh, and Dwayne had a lot to do with that. What's the most memorable, obviously the two titles were the, the biggest moment during that four year run, but what is the most memorable moment for you <laughs> with D-Wade during that four year? Well, you know, there's, there's not any one. It was a memorable, memorable four years because I know how hard it is to win, mm -hmm. even with great teams. You know, when I coached Showtime and the Lakers with, with all those great players, uh, you know, we won, you know, five championships in 12 years, but the, we went to the finals nine times in, in those 12 years. And so you can have the greatest team in the world, with the exception of what happened with Bill Russell in the 60s when they won eight in a row, uh, that some years you're going to lose, even if you have a great team, because that's how competitive it is. And, and so... You know, from that standpoint, there isn't any one moment that really stands out. Uh, and, I, and I think probably the one that was, that took all the pressure off is when we won it in 2012. LeBron's first, Chris's first, you know. You know, it had been uh, now six years since 2006, and we got another one. And to see the three of them, you know, really celebrate together I think was you know, one of the high points for me that that decision in 2006, that recruiting in 2010, that loss against Dallas in 2011 was painful. And in 2012, that team came together and uh, it was great to see because anything could happen. I mean, we ate lost two years in a row. They all, they all might wanted to get out of here or something. You know, that's, that's what happens in this league. So uh, to see the first one and to see the other two, LeBron and, uh, and Chris, you know, get what Dwayne already had and to have Dwayne sort of be the, the fulcrum of the whole thing was, was very memorable. By that point, by the time 2016 rolls around, Wade is a legend in the city. This yeah. is Wade County. Yeah. How, how crushing was it both, the two-part question, how crushing was it to watch him leave, to watch him go to Chicago, but also after that, two years later, how big was it to get him to come back to Miami? Uh, you know, the departure was a huge mistake on our part, mine, and not to go back and regurgitate why and what happened is that our franchise player, you know, our, our prodigal son, you know, so to speak, uh, who put us on the map, really, uh, along with Alonzo and Tim Hardaway and everybody else prior to that, um, to walk away. That, that was not one of our best moments, and I take full responsibility for that. And, but to have him come back, you know, was great, and to have him have that last season was great, and to be able to retire his number and go through the whole process with Dwayne ending his career on into a second career, which is really successful right now. I just, I love him to death as a, as a person, as a man, as a father, as a husband. You know, everything that he's doing out in the community. Uh, every time Dwayne Wade is, is out there doing something, it reflects back on the heat in a very favorable, positive way. And I just, uh, I am just so appreciative of, of what he, he did for us. And I think in the long run, we were, we were great for, for one another, but there's always a little friction somewhere. And, but, you know, the one thing about being around this league a long time is that you can say to somebody, hey, I'm sorry. 
you know, and, and you sort of forgive and forget. He does the same thing, and you get on with your life. We you say about in this community, two more quick questions. When you talk about the community, obviously the tragedy that happened in Parkland, and he was a very big yeah. member of the community in helping this area rebuild and, and, and recover, I guess, from what happened in Parkland. Well, from you watching that, seeing from, from the college kid that he was to the man he had become, how right. proud were you to, to be, to see that? Well, his, his personal growth, you know, from the time he walked through that door as a rookie, uh, when we drafted him, and you know, you know, to the time that he left, and he grew to a point in his life through his own education and his own, uh, you know, trauma, traumatic, you know, background that he was raised in. All of those things, he he became a man of of, of great compassion and great empathy, and any time something happened in in our community or in Chicago or wherever he was living, even in Los Angeles at the time, you know, that he would be there. He's just the kind of person that he is. And uh, when somebody's in need and he can see that he can help, you know, that empathy that he shows is sincere and genuine. And, and I think when he went, you know, uh, up there, you know, to, to count, count, you know, comfort and, and give great solace to these people is, uh, is who Dwayne is. Final question is the question everyone asks in sports all the time. There's always the comparison question, so I'm just going to ask you. Is Dwayne Wade the greatest professional athlete to play in South Florida in Miami? <laughs> well, I'm, you know, I, I'm pretty biased about it. And uh, for his tenure here, uh, He's probably the most respected, admired uh, professional that that we've ever seen in this mm -hmm. in this state. Yes, I, I would say that unequivocally. And there's so many other in other sports also. You know, LeBron was here for four years, but Dwayne was here for a lifetime. And uh, I don't think you'll ever see another player quite like Dwayne in any sport that's going to surpass him. They can equal him, you know, and, and there might be somebody, you know, one day uh, that can at, at, ask that question of somebody else and they'll give a different answer. But from, from my standpoint, you know, what he did for us and for this community, for himself and his family uh, is second to none.